There's an R here, 16 presidential circle. Uh, I read the agenda and I saw item three under the town manager's report. The town has been served with an administrative order from the Department of Environmental Services requiring the town, requiring the town to replace the Church Street sewer force mains via an overland route by December 17th. I'm going to relate to you my feelings here, it's not adversarial, just how I feel. <coughs> article 10, of course, is in this year's warrant article asking for $4,242,000 for this um, as well. I have no facts have been reported, no facts have been reported to the public that would substantiate this request. And I'm a fact-driven guy. This capital request of $4,242,000 would not make first cut in industry without facts and without analysis. I spent 50 years in industry with defect analysis and corrective action, managing and directing large departments. When it came to capital equipment requests, it was it's quite an inquisition, let me tell you. What I've heard to date is this. I have a feeling that these pipes need to be replaced. The beach would be shut down if a failure occurred during the summer. I wouldn't want to be here when that happens. They need to be replaced. The state would like that as well. That's all I've heard. Since then, I've done a lot of reading and a lot of research, blah, blah, blah. The first failure that occurred, this is the first failure that occurred since they were installed. The first pipe installed 47 years ago, and the second pipe was 30 years ago. <clears throat> the risk when they were installed must have been known by DEA or DES, as well as the town, yet the pipes went in. Probably the pipes went in because it's the most cost-effective route, right from the church station, right to the uh, wastewater treatment plant. That's probably why they went in. But the risks at that time were the risks at that time. The defect that I see is an isolated and random defect with no evidence that a trend is in sight and that it's going to happen again. I looked at the pipe extensively that was removed. I saw no excessive wear. I did see the hole in the pipe created by the rock. By the way, the rock was really tough. To, it was granite-like in weight. I couldn't tell because it was covered with scrud, if you will mud and whatever else is deposited on it, but it had the heft of granite or bedrock material that I think just kind of eroded up through the marsh and hit an object. It happened to be the pipe. The pipe is vacillating when it's processing the water, too. Well, the pipe showed no excessive wear as far as I'm concerned. I've got photographs, cross-sectional photographs. And just think, this pipe was corrected, by the way. The defect was corrected, I think, in two to four weeks <coughs> at a pretty costly sum of money. Just think if we had a contingency plan, if we put together a contingency, how fast we could do it and how much it would cost. So no facts that, that I know of have been made to assess the risk, and there's plenty of areas to probe to assess the risk. I made a recommendation that we do ground penetrating radar or sonar to see if we are lying in a rock field. I planted a bush or a tree last summer and took 25 rocks out of there before I could get a two and a half foot diameter hole put in. So are we sitting in a rock field? If we are, boy, it would, start to, it would start to incline me to change a little bit. Didn't happen. I sent emails twice. Pipes have never been listed on any big priority list as, you know, as, as something we got to replace. Just something that happened. And now we're in emergency action here. The state has, is, is no better off than we are from a fact point of view. So I don't know how they can issue this kind of an order. I sat with them with Fred in 010 and 011. They're human beings. They'll talk to you. Can They'll work up, with you. Can we wrap it up for yes. uh, three minutes, please? I don't intend to vote for this article unless I hear better risk analysis and um, better assessment. It's, it's just too bad that this, this uh, order comes from the state like, like a lightning bulb because it almost obligates people to have to vote for it. Without good risk assessment and analysis, I could have done much better. Guys, if, if I had the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you.